So, tell me, what's up? It's your pal, Osai Yubaya, YouTuber. And um, today I want to learn about the show that I just watched before in my life, when I was younger, or when I was in the middle of a teenage or young adult. The show that I watched before, or I never watched before, Emily of New Moon. Yes. Predictedly, the type of the type of show, believe me, a type of show that relates to a girl who discovers the true meaning of becoming an author, just like becoming like the near future Lucy Mon Montgomery. I never watched this show before in my life, but still, it relates to everything. But still, simple as that. I mean, believe me, never know what the show was all about when I was young. Sometimes I binge watch the first episode, or I binge watch the second, the first and second episodes. Just knowing that Emily Burke's father died due to a cancer moment. Problems, isn't it? Yeah, but sometimes I believe that Emily has to find a new home for her life, so I'm thinking with Aunt Elizabeth and Aunt Laura to take care of her, we'll be good. Plus, um, Mr. Cousin Jimmy, which is Aunt Elizabeth's sister or something. Barely. Maybe it's like a white Canadian version of the show that relates to Ellen Green Gables, which Ellen Montgomery wrote. Burn turns out that the show was born on my birth year, 1998. However, I never watched the show before because the show was on CBC in Canada, and it was not a ride in the United States of America. So that's a problem. Knowing that that show will really be definitely not been watched before when I was young. Turns out I'd be watching educational shows when I was younger. Like Sesame Street, Barney and Friends, Big Comfy Couch. Um, it was a lot, it's, uh, another Canadian show, barely. But still, and others. I don't know. But whatever it is, the thing is the show may come back. But I'm, the thing is, I believe a new movie. Just like the ordinary character, her dreams was to become an author. Just like that. Mostly, I believe that some of the characters in the show are really sophisticated. Knowing about the industries, the tales, adventures, and all the other things to go by. And after that, what is there to talk about? Think of it this way. Emily Burstar, Arthur, Emily Burstar, adventurer. Female, young person who has what it takes to learn about sophisticated show that is really out of hand. Barely needed. But I have one question to ask. What is New Moon about? If Emily is the star of the show, then what is the New Moon all about? All the New Moon about? I mean, New Moon has to do with the part where a new moon arises from the dark of the skies, and then all of a sudden when a new moon arises from the sky, it means that the old moon is just up out, but the new moon just set. For a new, for a new astrological thingy to just await around her, or what the new moon uh, waits for her, maybe a new life, new constellation, new beginnings of what she has to conquer, or something else better than what it's not to love. Barely. Never watched the show before I was young, since I was one at eight. However, Uncle Plus did a good job bring. Um, uploading all the episodes of Emily New Moon with each seasons. Seasons 1, Seasons 2, Season 3, and Season 4. And I believe that this show will definitely be an example for family entertainment in Canada and in America, or in the United States of America. Trust me, this show definitely hit the charts. But still, I'll have to binge watch more Emily New Moon to see what her adventure is taking her through. Maybe new mysteries for her to solve, or new friends to meet. Sometimes her friends are going her from adventures, and sometimes what concludes in today's epic adventure about family relationship, um, adventure, book noveling, and the rest. And still, it's there to be uh, possessed. So I'll binge watch more. And one more thing. What do we all understand is that the actress who portrayed as Emily, she also voiced Melosa from Island that got a Defenders in the show too. 
Back then she was young to act as Emily. Then when she became older, she, uh, she started voice acting instead. Previous, seriously, I think that was going to be like an inference or some kind of mysterious way. What can be a clue between her acting day roles as her real life? But not enough. I don't want to take this too far. I want to confuse the story. But Emily Burt Star, a character in the show, thinking that her uh, father died and then the uh, adopted parents want to take care of her. Uh, Laura, portrayed as Shayla McCarthy, just like a kind mother, sometimes a widow, maybe not weak, maybe desperate. And Elizabeth, strongest mother of all time, knowing that she's strict. And Cousin Jimmy, who may be a little bit weird, but sometimes a good at acting. Elizabeth, Susan Clark, an actress, Cousin Jimmy, Steph Fang McHattie. Of course, that is true. And the rest of the cast members, including Ilsa and uh, Perry, Helen, Helen Miller, who also is the act, who is an actor of Christmas Sam Michi. Jessica Pellerin did a good job in her actress has in this. And uh, the other one is Chris Lamichi, who was also an actor from Final Destination 3. It was like the psychotic dude. Get what he said. You're dead, Wendy. You're dead. You're next, Wendy. You're de you're Ned. You're dead. Yeah. So going from Ellen New Moon to Final Destination 3. Totally. What is the difference? All these actors are are from Canada. So basically, there's no need to inference. But I wonder what happens if a black African American um, guest stars in Emily in the Moon. I mean, the show would it be better. But um, not sure if I will predict if an African American actor stars in Emily in the Moon, or if it doesn't. Maybe they won't. Maybe the producers or anyone will do. It's like this show is a white Canadian series. Just like all white people who stars in the show. Okay. Now, last but not least, some of you viewers who were younger or maybe adult here, maybe if you remember Emily Hugh Moon as a show. But for me, I don't even know what the show is about. I mean, I read the synopsis and still, the show is really interesting. Knowing that Emily's life is about discovering new adventures of how she become the next author of writing her own tales and adventures of what she's done today. Practically advised. Practically cool. Practically amazing. Really amazing. Sophisticated. Mm. And that would be my opinion. So that would be my review for I Live New Moon. Really a good show. I suggest you viewers watch the show or Uncle Plus so that way, once you find the best episodes from season one, two, three, and four, you'll binge watch the show as long as you want during the summer. So that way, you won't wait till the last minute. And by the way, that show was on TVC when it was on TV when, we, when some people were young. And now in today's world, on the internet, on YouTube, finding our own court plus, finding episodes, and just binge watching. And that's it. Okay, I'm out of here. I never know what Adley and Numa is about, but in that case, it'll be grateful for everyone to just enjoy the show. And that's it. No questions asked. Sweet dreams. Huh. Uh, what about the composer, though?